Have you ever seen light rays coming through the holes of a damaged roof? You'll be surprised to know, as you can see, that the light rays from such holes produce images of the sun when they fall on the ground. Why? Because these irregular shaped holes in the roof act as pinhole cameras. Now, what are pinhole cameras? Let's first construct one pinhole camera and then let's try to understand the principle. Now, by definition, a pinhole camera is a simple optical device that forms an image without using a lens or a mirror. That's surprising. Now, let's join two hollow cylindrical boxes of different diameters in such a way that one box can just slide within the other. Now, what do we do? We make a small hole in the larger cylinder there and also make two holes in the smaller cylinder, the one inside. Fine? But there is one care you need to take. The inner hole has to be rectangular and the outer hole has to be circular. We now fix a translucent paper, uh, say a tracing paper, on the rectangular hole because that's going to act as a screen. Now, very importantly, these two cylinders must be enclosed so that you can prevent light from entering the larger cylinder. That will mess up our image. Now, use this pinhole camera and try looking at a tree. Surprise! A clear image of this tree can be obtained on the screen if you slide the smaller cylinder back and forth. Now, how exactly did it happen? Let's look at this diagram. The tree is, say, MN. M is the topmost point, N is the bottommost point. The light rays coming from the bottom of the tree, that is N, they pass through the small hole and strike the screen at the top of the axis, N dash. Can you see that? And the light rays coming from the top of the tree, that is M, strike at the bottom of the axis, that is M dash. Now, what happens as a result? As you can see, an inverted and also a much smaller image of the tree is what you get on the tracing paper. Remember the tracing paper which acted as a screen? Now the size and contrast of this image, it can be adjusted. For that, all you need to do is slide the smaller cylinder. Also, one more thing, the image depends on the size of the pinhole. The smaller the pinhole, the sharper will be the image. And of course, vice versa.